What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you something that I purchased for the sake of reselling it for profits. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn this into a series on my channel or just make videos here and there whenever I do this because as you guys know, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, I do go to yard sales, check out Facebook Marketplace and even Kijiji. Now, if you don't know what Kijiji is, it is basically a buying and selling platform in Canada, kind of like Craigslist. So I've been checking out all of those places for my own personal collection. That's where I recently found the PlayStation 1 for sale. But I also look from time to time if there's stuff that even if I'm not into collecting it, if I see there's profit to be made, I'll purchase it for the sake of reselling. So what I found today is Xbox related. And as you guys know, I am only into Sony. So it wasn't for my personal collection, but he didn't want too much for this whole lot. And in my opinion, there is a lot of profit to be made. Let's head upstairs and I'll show you guys what I got. So this is everything that I recently bought for this deal. Now the original ad said a box of Xbox One games for $40, but whenever I got there, it included all of this right here. So I decided to take a risk because just the games themselves, I valued them at if I sold them for about $5 each, that's roughly $100. I'm buying everything for $40, so that is still pretty good profit. So at first, whenever I got home, I noticed it had all of this stuff here. I didn't realize it wasn't just the games. So I noticed it includes these figures here for Lego Dimensions. Now there is Batman, one Harry Potter figure, and a few others. This goes with the game in the portal. These average about $10 each on eBay. And I have seven figures right there. Then we have the portal for the Xbox One. So you put the figures on this to be able to play with them in the game. That averages about $30, 20 to $30 on eBay. And then the Lego Dimensions game for the Xbox One, which I've seen going anywhere from $10 to $20 on eBay. So altogether, for the Lego Dimensions, I'm hoping to get anywhere from $40 to $50. Now for this here, it's a little bit heavy. I didn't know what exactly it was. I've never even heard of it. It's Disney Infinity. So the carrying case... What is on the upper part here, inside is the portal for the Xbox One, which I looked up the value in the portal is about $30 on eBay. Now underneath, I was really excited when I noticed it included it, a ton of figures to play with the game. So it includes the original Avengers plus Mater and one Frozen figure. So the Avengers figures alone, I've seen them on eBay for all of them $50, but averagely you can get anywhere from $5 to $10 each figure. And I'm not going to take the figures out, but underneath there includes the, the Disney Infinity 2.0 video game for the Xbox One. So this right here, even though it's a little bit more valuable, I'm expecting and hoping to get at least $50 for this, including the carrying case. Now for the video games, which is all I was expecting to get that day. Up first, I decided to go through and sort these and tape them myself just to keep them separate. These here is a stack of sports games. Now I know from experience, sports games are difficult to sell because there's always a new one every year. So I decided to see if I can get $40 for all of these. There's about 10 of them or $6 a piece. Luckily, I posted this the first day I got these and somebody offered me $40 for all these sports games and they're willing to do the deal. So the deal should happen in a couple days. That's when they decided to come and pick it up. So that's like me getting all of the money that I spent for everything in one quick deal. So that is me making my money back right away for this. So everything on this point forward is basically profits. So it does include some other games. It includes this stack of games, and on eBay, they average for about $10 each. So that's what I'm going to be trying to get for them. And included also another stack of games, which on eBay, for the completed sales, average at about $20 each, which is what I'm going to try to get for these games. So I'm pretty excited there because... That is literally all profit. So even if I only sell them for, let's say, $5 each, since I already make my money back on the sports games, 
even if I have to go lower for the games here, even if I'm not getting the 20 or $10 each, if I go lower, that's still all profit for me. Plus, I have the LEGO Dimension stuff, so I'm expecting about $40 for it. And I'm expecting $50 for this with all the figures, the game, and the portal. And, of course, the carrying case. So that is really great profit. That is $160 profit if I get basically the bare minimum for the games and get what I want for the... Uh, figures and the games here. So that is still $160 is in my opinion still great profits But of course if I can get more for some of these games here the $20 each and the $10 each That will still be more profit than the 160. So I'm really excited Hopefully I will sell these really quick like I said the guy's coming for the sports games I think he's coming tomorrow. So that's me getting my money back on this deal all in one shot So for this deal, I was really excited and like I said at the beginning of this video I'm not into Xbox, I'm a PlayStation guy, but whenever I seen this deal online for $40 for a box of Xbox One games, and then getting there and realizing everything that it came with it, I thought it was a great deal, I couldn't miss it, and it was profit for me, so I thought, why not? So I don't know, again, if I'm going to turn this into a series on my channel, I do have a couple other things, I'm going to make videos on them, but I'll see how much stuff I do buy for the sake of reselling, or the stuff I buy for the sake of putting in my collection, and I'll share that in future videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.